Time for the freaking full file. And of course, we go to Florida to start things out now. Uh, Randy, you want to look this guy's picture up? Okay. <laughs> this Florida man from Marion County tried his best to put on a disguise to fool the police. Officers were trying to serve Woodrow Dyer. They were going to serve him a felony warrant, and uh, Woodrow Dyer tried to put one over on him by dressing like a woman. <laughs> well, cops posted a video of the arrest, which, quote, pays tribute to Dyer, featuring the Aerosmith song, Dude Looks Like a Lady. <laughs> the reason is, see, Dyer bears a striking resemblance to Steven Tyler. Oh, man. Look at him. He looks just like Steven Tyler. And he tried to dress like a lady. It didn't work. But look, does does he look like Stephen Tyler or not? Not, not so much as Mudshot. Well, What's yeah, going Mud, on? <laughs> Mudshot looks like uh, a crack addicted Jim Morrison. Yeah, but I mean, he'll look good in the prison jail. Yeah, yeah, he will. <laughs> and a woman was caught cheating on her husband just two weeks after the wedding. Why, you little slut. The incident began when the owner of a family-friendly restaurant in Kiln, Mississippi, came to work early. Well, she looked out of the window towards the restaurant's deck and spotted three people engaged in humana, humana, humana. Instead of confronting the threesome, the restaurant owner called police. They'll break it up. Uh, Sheriff Ricky Adam said that the owner reported seeing the trio having sex in the middle of the day in broad daylight and, quote, in front of God and everybody, according to her statement. The officer confronted the three people and learned that they were all co-workers. They all worked in sales and alarm company ADT. Well, the two women and the man were arrested and charged with misdemeanor indecent exposure. They were released after posting a thousand dollars a month. Well, police identified the suspects, and one of them was 19-year-old Amy Hammers, which was a funny name for that, who, according to her Facebook page, got married two weeks before the arrest. Mm. She begged the officer, please don't tell my husband. But guess who was the only person available to come get her out of jail? Her husband. Well, Miss Hammers wouldn't tell her husband why she was arrested, even though he kept asking when uh, he showed up to bail her out. But the officer did, uh -oh. and the husband filed for divorce the next day. Man. Two weeks? Two weeks, and you're already getting in a threesome. Wow. I wonder what happens downstairs. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's the in, the interrogation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's an order of french fries that sparked a crazy encounter at a Wendy's drive-thru in Minnesota. See, this 25-year-old with four names, Hiram Chanel Amir Dixon, placed her order at the window and asked that her fries to be fresh. Not fresh, fresh, fresh. But, but for some reason, employees thought Dixon was the one that was being fresh, got into an argument with her, and at one point, Dixon tried to reach through that window, and that's when one of the employees threw up uh, some soda at her. <laughs> well, Dixon then reached back into her car, pulled out a can of mace, and sprayed it into the window, hitting three employees, one of them directly in the face. Over fries. Well, over fries, yeah, because she wanted fresh fries. Uh, Dixon was arrested uh, for using mace. They could have to face uh, five years uh, in jail. Wow, yeah. And security guards at a Michigan courthouse went a little crazy after an x-ray machine turned up proof that a visitor was trying to sneak a small monkey into their facility. <laughs> a monkey? Uh, Linda Stevenson, who uh, came to the Bay County Courthouse to deal with a small claims case, placed her purse on the conveyor belt for scanning, allowing the guard to see a tiny squirrel monkey moving around inside. Oh, <laughs> purse. And now the security deputy uh, described the encounter by saying, you know, I was like, what the hell was that? She goes, oh, that's my monkey. Uh, and then the, uh, the security deputy said, well, I need to see your monkey. He said that with a straight face and I'm laughing. Okay, just, just check. So she unzipped her purse, the monkey stuck his head out and looked it up, and then... 
Well, zip that back up. There it is. There, there's my little monkey. Uh, <laughs> uh, the woman who insists that the critter is an emotional service animal oh, said boy. she tried to get a monkey center for the afternoon but was unable to. So she ended up taking the monkey out of the car for the duration of the visit. Uh, don't know what happened inside that car with the monkey all by itself. Ooh. But anyway, uh, there was no no problem after that. A monkey center. Yeah, monkey center. That's not like a euphemism. It does. <laughs> Even though it's not. Here's a hazmat crew in Delaware had to be called to the scene of a car crash after one of the vehicles slammed into a business called Anal Tech. What? Anal Tech. Anal Tech. And it released a foul odor. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Part of the joke. <laughs> right. Two pickup trucks collided and one of them slammed into the side of the Anal Tech building, leaving a huge hole. The crash damaged the laboratory inside the building, and a strange odor was admitted. It was nasty. Ooh. Hazmat crews investigated and determined after about three hours that the odor was harmless. It was just nasty. Both drivers involved in the accident were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. As for the very unfortunate name of the company, yeah. Anal Tech explained <laughs> that it's a combination of the words analysis and technology. Right. Anal Tech. Oh. The company manufactures thin layer chromatography plates that are used in laboratories to separate non-volatile mixtures. Now this company has been around for 50 years. Oh really? No one realized the funny name well, for 50 it's, years. It's really pronounced anal tech. No, it's, it says anal tech. Well, that's how when it's I see A-N-A-L, <laughs> but it's it really says anal. Analyze. Analyze. Anal tech. Anal tech. Analysis. Analysis. It's still anal tech. <laughs> somebody should have said something to somebody else. 50 years ago. <laughs> and a ventriloquist says that he was questioned by police after his dummy was accused of making sexual remarks to a woman on the street. <laughs> he didn't do it. The dummy did it. That was his excuse. How'd that work out? Fundraiser David Sampson told police in Warwickshire, England, who quizzed him for about an hour about his puppet, Griswold the Wonder Doll. <laughs> Mr. Sampson insists that the alleged incident could not have taken place because Griswold the Wonder Doll, quote, doesn't talk and couldn't have made old comments. But the woman in question says it was Griswold the Wonder Dog who made inappropriate comments to her. Oh, God. <laughs> really? You don't understand how the ventriloquism works, huh? Mr. Sampson says police visited his home before he was questioned over the incident at the police station and during an interview that he attended volunteered. He explained that Griswold the Wonder Dog cannot speak during questioning and he also claimed that it was the woman that was using the foul language and not him. Or Griswold the Wonder Dog. Mr. Sampson insists the allegation against him are motivated by a personal grudge that the woman must have against him. Uh, yeah. I wonder if Jeff Dunham ever had <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, just thinking that. I wonder if Jeff Dunham ever had What about you? I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, right. It was Walter. Walter. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Randy's here from the Metro Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Traffic Center. An overnight police chase ended in an RV fire in Arlington. I-30 westbound between Cooper and Fielder. And that has you back up well past Center Street there. Motorists are advised to uh, exit at 360 as delays uh, build up there. Left lanes blocked eastbound with heavy traffic as well. Try 183 Highway 10. Trinity Green Oaks 18303 to get around that one. It's going to be there all along. long. Also, earlier crash in Dallas is all cleaned up on the DMT. Uh, northbound at Lovers. Crash has been moved to the right shoulder in Plano Bush, westbound at Preston Road. And in Fort Worth, left lane is blocked with a crash. Uh, 360 southbound at Trinity. That is a look at Lone Star traffic. Brought to you by the Yamaha EX Series Wave Runner. Now you can afford to vacation all summer long. <laughs> Yamaha, the number one brand on the water, introduces the all new EX Series Wave Runners, starting at just $65.99. The ride is agile, fun, and playful with all the Yamaha reliability you expect. See your Yamaha dealer for details. Well, Robert's here to remind you that you got a three day weekend coming up Memorial Day weekend. And yes, just like you, 
I have some plans on grilling out too when my grill from barbecue's gone. If you haven't been into one of their stores, you won't believe it. I went into the one in Allen, and I was literally overwhelmed by everything they have in their stores. And believe me, barbecue's gone is firing up the savings for Memorial Day. You see the big green egg? Well, they got savings on that. Even 25% off all in-stock Yeti products. Your drink will never get hot in a Yeti. 35% off already reduced prices on patio sets and much, much more. And now through the end of May, you can 